All right, guys, so we're out prospecting today. Uh, we're taking a look at um, an area where you prospected about three months ago. We had a bunch of showings of Gossen, and uh, we have new areas that have fluffed down off the banks here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some samples, take a look at them, see what we can find. Um, there's pretty decent mineralization in here, so uh, we'll see what we can get. So first sample, first rock we hammered, you have uh, mineralization, which is in the form of pyrite and lesser amounts of calcopyrite. So you can see the darker hued, that is your calcopyrite. Your pyrite is the silvery metal. So first sample, right off the bat. So we got tons more to look at. You can see here, heavily oxidized. So we're gonna pull a bunch of samples today and uh, we'll send some in for assays. Okay, so We've hammered uh, about 50 rocks open. They're all mineralized. And I just wanted to show this. You can see all the little speckles all throughout there. Some of that is, in fact, iron pyrite and calcopyrite, but some of it is actually free milling gold. You can see here you have your iron pyrite. More there. So um, we have about this much on this small little area exposed and it's all mineralized to a similar extent. And you can see Pretty much every single piece that we've hammered open has been like this. So that's a fairly uh, large amount of mineralization. We just have to see exactly the grade. It might even be worthwhile to get a dump truck up here and just load this all out. So this is found primarily as disseminations all throughout the rock. And then you have occasional blobs of pyrite and calcopyrite. And then you have small little veins all throughout um, that have quite a bit more mineralization. So uh, definitely an interesting find. So you can see random piece all mineralized. So we're going to go uh, take a look at some more samples up here and uh, see what we get out of them. So we are starting at the very bottom of this logging road now uh, where all these slough piles are uh, checking old ones and checking new ones. And we are going to record where the mineralization starts and stops. So we're at the first pile here. And this is our first sample. You can see you have uh, quite a bit of pyrite mineralization there and on there. So we found it already. So we have a uh, 120 meter section uh, where you have stuff exposed and uh, we have about 12 exposures of mineral and slough piles uh, and then you come to this where there's a little bit of mineralization but not anything substantial like the other ones and then 
down here we have some more so we're gonna go check that out all right so we're uh, back on the mineral you can see you have a uh, large amount that's left out so all this has uh, mineralization however uh, it's a little bit more spotty here than down below because your deposit um, changes to uh, Gossen. So Gossen is also known as iron cap. Basically you have your mineral over time that's been uh, leached out and it leaves iron oxide staining and your rock, all the minerals have precipitated out. Um, your deposit with Gossen Usually if you drill down below is where you find the, the actual deposit. So uh, here it's mixed, so we're gonna still take some samples here. Um, and then it kind of stops here, you can see along there. And you have a different host rock. And then over here, it starts to get more mineralized again. The mineralization continues into this host rock. So we have a lot of rock to search, so we're gonna get to it. I think your uh, rock is still the same. Um, maybe just the grain size changes. So changes a little bit, but it's still sort of the same deposit. You can see you have more uh, iron staining and you have uh, calcopyrite and pyrite. All right, so here's a sample. So that's a decent amount of uh, pyrite mineralization, calcopyrite. Looks decent too. So we'll take this as a sample as well. We're gonna send a couple of these in um, right away and then we're gonna catalog some. So whatever ones we show, we'll post at the end of the video and we'll mark it in the video so you know. So we have discovered mineral up until about this point right here. You can see it gets a little less oxidized and then there's almost none over here. So. Right here, uh, we found a sample with uh, obvious pyrite mineralization. So, and we've been breaking open this rock here, and we notice uh, quite a bit in there too. So this is the end of the deposit, what we think, and then it uh, continues on up there um, and a couple new deposits, and then there's a couple large showings with Gossen with good grades so we're gonna go take a look at those now one more sample loads of pyrite all right so we're at the uh, last exposure here before the logging gate you can see a uh, pretty large extensive outcropping of Gossen. So there is still some sulfides on this. But uh, pretty deteriorated. So we have sampled this before and we got really good assay results. Uh, some were minimal and some were really good so obviously we found a couple pockets of nice mineral so in order to uh, actually get to this deposit, you'd have to drill in that way or drill in this way to find anything really amazing. So my prospecting partner is going to make his way up and just grab a sample or two. If he can make it up.
So we're basically just going to pull a sample um, across the entire outcrop just to catalog it in case we need to resend something in. Alright, so that's it. Stay tuned for these sale results. We'll see you guys in the next video.